time for the post-round wrap of day one of the Australian PGA Championship and weather was always going to rear its ugly head and Grant Dodd, uh, what a shame it's already come here on day one. Yeah, it is, Luke. I mean, you know, it's always a pity when we get disruption uh, of a day of golf, particularly one there was such anticipation about what might happen. But uh, look, it happens and it does happen in, in Queensland. But as you can see behind us now, the players are getting ready to go back out to uh, complete their second rounds. Most of them won't get completed today, but they'll be back at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning to have, a, have another warm up. But uh, look, it's nice conditions now and someone's going to go out there now and shoot a really good score. We saw a couple of really good scores this morning, didn't we? Uh, defending champion and pre-tournament favourite, Adam Scott, a four under 68. Nice to see him actually get off to a good start for a change. Yeah, you know, he certainly uh, put the uh, hearts of television executives to rest because uh, it certainly doesn't put anyone in a real good frame of mind when he shoots 75 or 76 first round. But uh, look, he's shown he's got the ability to come back when he does that anyway. But there'll be a lot of players looking over their shoulder at him at the moment. At, at 68, in his home state on a course that he knows quite well, he's going to be hard to beat. Just the one blemish uh, for Adam Scott at the uh, drivable par 4 eighth. He had a go with the big dog, hit it in the water and made bogey, but bounced back with a birdie on nine to shoot that 68. And in front is Boo Weekly, the colourful American, shooting a 66. Uh, his best performance so far this summer. He's been there or thereabouts without being spectacular. Today, he got it right. He's had some good performances off the course this week, Boo. <laughs> he's, uh, he's really um, uh, taken advantage of Australian hospitality and he's talked to everyone about it. He's made so many fans this week. I mean, he's just such a great character. He's so relaxed. He's playing with his good mate, Steve Bowditch, and they're having a nice time as well. And it, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely antidote to the seriousness at, at times of, of professional golf to watch Boo Weekly go about his business. Add to that the fact that the guy can really play. I mean, he has got a pure golf swing. He's one of the best ball strikers in the field. And come the weekend, I reckon there'll be a few uh, Queenslanders in the gallery giving a few <laughs> boo cheers. Well, he's a three-time PGA Tour winner, and uh, uh, this course very much like what he grows up in in Florida and is used to playing. Uh, a couple of nice surprise packages. The veteran David Smale back on the first page of a leaderboard. Uh, this James Mascarani, what a lovely story from him. Uh, back from college golf in the States and had to Monday qualify for each event. He's starting to get his name in lights. And then Jared Lyle, a three under 69. We know the story well, but great to see Jared amongst the action. Yeah, look, I mean, Jared's uh, story, I guess, is a legend in Australian golf at the moment. And uh, I mean, how many people can come back from not just once from cancer, but twice, you know? And, and he's just a. I mean, he's just a great character. I mean, it brings tears to your eyes still, you know, when you think about what he's gone through. But, I mean, he's put that in the past and he's out there living in the, in the present and looking towards the future. And, uh, and, and great to see him playing in these events and he'll always be a massive fan favourite. So, despite some poor weather with the rain, we've still had some great golf here at RACV Royal Pines. Grant Dodd, thanks for joining us. Make sure you stay tuned to pgachampionship.com.au for all the latest action here at Royal Pines.